All right, I wanted to talk about this one, or these few trades that recently sparked my attention because, you know, it feels good to be right. Uh, so this color is for one hour charts because in my mind, the more red, the more intense. And so um, if it was a one day kind of line um, or zone, it would be like a very dark red. But because it's just a one hour chart where I kind of drew the line, um, it's just this like fading red and so here drop base drop base drop and even though it hits it once it's still a pretty like strong zone and so i made this zone i probably should have done this like a little bit of buffer room but whatever so then it goes down blah 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 goes down and then on the four hour chart which is what i primarily use um after it goes down it hits this big rally base for three candles rally and so immediately I you know I drew a, a darker red color so instead of like this fading red I just kind of use the default maybe I use this but um, I drew that color on this and so I have this really strong zone that I was like paying attention to a lot so it comes back down it hits this zone and immediately bounces up that's kind of what I expected and what I was hoping um, and in the process, it hit, it does a really nice candle, one good candle, and then big explosion out. And so just perfect example of a rally base rally. And so once again, you know, four hour chart on the Euro yen, and it just perfectly rally base rally. And so kind of at this point, you know, over the last few months, it's an overall kind of sideways, kind of uptrend. If we go back a bit farther, it's an uptrend. Um, so anything, so in my mind, if it ever comes down and then hits this and then goes up, that's that's a pretty nice bet for me. So whatever, continues. It goes up, down, up, down, and then it hits the red line um, that I previously put, and then it's maybe like a few pips Above my line which is why you like having a buffer um, but you know it, it wasn't fresh it wasn't like a super solid high time frame line and so I didn't bet on this but it it's good to know like that it kind of went in my favor and it comes back down this is a pretty decent drop base drop but I'm just kind of leaving it for now because it has a lot of like variance and it's w kind of weird um, but then it hits another drop base drop and so right here I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see and the numbers aren't in the way um, big red green red so this is kind of one right here that's kind of one red zone and that does it again it does this bit like medium red green big red and so because of that there's a zone right here and a bigger overlapping zone right here I guess this could kind of be like down it's around this area I could find like a best spot and so let's let, let's predict what will happen after this candle so I'm gonna I'm gonna clip it I'm gonna clip this good enough copy this go to paint paste and then so I have this okay so the two zones are right here it will go like this until like further changed uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to fill this out is it this bucket um, and then there is this one right here. Fill it out. And then there's this. Fill it out. And then 
kind of like you know a, a more like a double down one right here I'll, I'll make this like a pink so the the pink is on top of the red but both um, you know are kind of doing the same thing so what I expect to happen at this point once we have all of, all of our lines all of our um, thing I expect from right here it to go down how do I make this thicker so it'll go down it'll hit this zone it might go a little deeper then it will come up here once it hits this pink zone it will come down it'll either kind of hover around here or it'll go straight through this red zone because although it was a strong zone it's not like perfect and so it'll hit the pink either go through the red or maybe bounce back once then go through the red and hit this second red which has the stronger zone it's already been retested once and so it's not perfect um, but look how strong that is look at that massive green few little greens and then few more massive greens and so because of that it will absolutely jump up now I don't know exactly how far it'll jump up um, all I know is that there will be an upwards movement from this candle or from from this bottom zone and I don't know how long it'll hover in this area let's let's name this area like I don't know X so I don't know how long it'll hover between um, let's call this red to and let's call this big red and so this is R1 and this is pink one okay so it's using these denotations um, here here's kind of what I was predicting after this candle so there's a big red after this green and I expect it to go hit red, hit R1, hit pink one, then go down. I don't know how long it'll stay between pink one and R2, but it will go from pink one eventually to R2. And then once it hits R2, it'll stay inside the area X for like, I don't know, an unknown amount of time. So it'll be an X for a big unknown amount of time. Um, and then once it leaves X, it will probably be inside the big red zone and so it will go from R2 to the area X to big red and then I think after it hits big red after it kind of hits this vague area I think it's just gonna shoot down and just plummet from big red and so that's kind of what I was expecting that's like I put in the trade right here at this line because it, it aligned with a few of my other indicators but following this line of thinking that it's gonna do this it's gonna go down up down question mark and then hit this up and then big down under that assumption that I'm right um, this is a positive trade right here and then I'll have a moving stop loss and the moving stop stop loss will probably go from right here at this orange line to right here because there'll be some movement to right here because there'll also be like things that occur in this area so let's take a gander at what's happened since then so big red big red candle that's the last one that we see next small red almost touches the zone oh it did touch the zone perfectly okay so I was gonna go candle by candle but I hate how the numbers are in the way so just follow like this the the line that I'm making so right here these three candles kinda keep touching that uh, you know if I was using the paint it would be I think that's R1 yeah so it keeps touching R1 and then it shoots and it shoots up to pink one 
huh, isn't that, isn't, isn't that something? So once it hits pink one, I expect it to go down, shoot through uh, R1, so pink one, shoots through R1, and then goes to R2. And then once it goes to R2, right here, this zone, once it goes to R2, I expect it to kind of hover, hit um, the big red, and then shoot down. And so that's kind of where we are. I think what will happen is um, either this was good enough to shoot it down or this, or it will kind of hover in this area until it eventually hits, um, you know, big red as I, like the, the more um, vague and like the bigger zone. And so once it hits like the top part of Big Red or like a really strong um, supply part of Big Red, I think it'll shoot through R2. And then after it shoots through R2, that's where all my profit is. And so I'll, I'll be following this, you know, the next few days, make sure everything looks good. Um, but I'm really happy to see that my line or my zone right here it worked. I didn't bet on this because it was a low time frame zone, but it worked. And so after that, there was this really strong rally, base rally, which um, even though it retested once, if I bet right here, that would have been, that is a nice profit right there. there. How do I, it's this one. So if I bet right here, that is a casual 19,000 pip profit. No big deal. Over the course of, let's see, October 1st to October 9th. So in nine days, uh, that's a lot of pips. Um, wait, do I have the digits wrong on the pips? Is this 196? Yeah, I think it is. Well, still, a 196 profit is still pretty solid. Realistically, I would have had the take profit like around this area because I don't like to go all the way up. I like to have like a little wiggle room just in case it didn't get all the way there. So a 160 pit profit, not that bad, I guess, in five, six days. Um, back to what I was saying. So it hits this. It hits um, the weak one hour supply and immediately bounces off of that. If I bet this, it would, you know, obviously be looking good um so that it comes down from here hits another really nice big drop base drop this this candle right here that my cursor is on um it's not the nicest drop but because it's obviously training that direction and there's another zone right here i can infer that it looks good you know that there's one nice zone and two so there's a big zone and so then as we as we put on this from this point on from this red candle on this one from this red candle on i was able to kind of predict what would happen and so if we look at like my drawing and you know obviously there is some hindsight because i was watching this unfold and i chose to record and talk about this specific instance that went my way um but even though this specific instance went my way and I'm like showing how this one's right, the thought process was there. And this was genuinely, um, you know, what I predicted before I saw what happened after the scandal. And so it's, it's really nice to see that my prediction of the movements is not that far off. I, I expected this to go a little bit lower into the zone but I mean, you know, it still would have hit, especially with, you know, that spread. Um, and so this would have hit and it, I, because of this, because of, um, big red and pink one, I would not have bet this and I would not have bet this because I knew that mm, like best case scenario, it only gets right here. Um, and so I, was not going to bet these lines, but I acknowledged that they existed so that I could kind of act accordingly. And then once it went through, 
hit that, and now it's starting to come back down. And so if we look at like, I don't know, 30 minute, um, you can see that it has shot up, hit this zone once again, and then it's kind of doing whatever for now. And so I'll get back, you know, I'll keep track of it. Um, I am really hoping that it keeps going my way, but we'll see, and hopefully it goes well.